Maybe identify some situation where he can swing the ball to the backs and... the kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field and they will not get a chance to return this. this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback so out come the Rams now for their first possession they'll be led out by a longtime starter in the NFL a former number one overall pick way back in 2009 it's Matthew Stafford and Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft and he certainly played like a top pick throughout his career he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon not only that he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well stafford on first down that's into the hands of Akers complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful. And that strength was on display there. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy is made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Going to run the sweep here. This is Cobb. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. keep all the receivers alive in a play never lock in on any one guy make sure you keep your eyes moving scan the field and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup so from philadelphia territory now here's a first and 10 at the 42 yes. yard line that's out to the flat for acres oh oh he's hurt too boy pickup of eight second and two now after the completion we're going to get a nutty timeout an injured song. player well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. I understand, man. You're getting that. My, my guys are not getting to your goodness. I don't understand how uh, my guys are not getting to your Second and two. He got maybe a half yard at most, but eventually they'll be left with a third and two. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really I needed that one like, for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive is going pretty well. I could come right back at them. They'll got try it. and run for this oh, with Akers. And Akers, he's not going to get there. That money. The defense stiffens to force first down following that first down gain of eight. I'm getting the sense that Fletcher Cox is making offensive linemen want to take the week off when they have to play against him. <laughs> it's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play there, that's him Smart all day long. Yeah. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense. Okay. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. I tried to catch it. Call it on. Just a catch. Yard and the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and ten. 
Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready Hurts. to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior Hurts. season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and oh, ah. now Hurts. They'll get this one okay, complete. Go, That's A.J. Brown. Oh. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The partner, they're locked in man coverage out left, and they end up running a crossing oh, route. Oh, he boy. rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. Oh, you got Floyd over there. Oh, hang on. Obviously. On first and ten, it's oh, Sanders. Man. 11 and sides of my line is supposed to be good. Scrimmage and he goes down right there. Oh, yeah. So after the, the run for no gain, so here's good. second and ten. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. Oh, fighting off All the day, defender. baby. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before Let's going keep your down. Field. We see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So from Rams territory now, it's first and ten at the 48-yard line. Here's Hurts to throw. Yeah. Nice. And this is caught. It's oh, uh, come on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, touchdown, baby. Go here. Roll him up, roll him up. Touchdown, baby. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly. And oftentimes on the move, so when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it 7-0. So that drive spanned five plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. What is it? No, Odell's a free agent right now. I don't know why they don't sign it back. He now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on Still to kick it away. Still got some gas in the tank. And this will be a touchback as that sails years. over the end line. What's up, y'all? So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game, and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. They let on uh, guys, Miller go line too. Of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, nice. and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Let's get home. On first down, Stafford oh, here. Man. Open man right side is cup complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you can just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. A good gain on first has a second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Throwing a stand. 
Oh, what happened there? There's a long coverage. Crazy. Well, the man coverage on the outside, and my scouting Almost got home. Though, yeah. Tells me that they love yeah, but I made two throws. Yeah. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now a play fake, and it's Stafford. Get his ass. Yeah, there you go. Uh, He'll be hit as he releases it. And that fall incomplete. Yeah. Look, like a book, and they... Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this. They might as well punt it back to Big Daddy. Hey, it's you, bro. Oh, okay. You want to go for it? Probably get it. It's only. <laughs> Yeah, it's just the fourth and inch. So in their own territory, but they only need a few inches, so they're going to have to go for this dangerous. thing. We'll see. Maybe a surprise pass or run. Oh, what will they do? Bastard. We're about to find out. Fourth down. I don't. They snap it to Stafford. Boom! And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a fourth down. That's a sack. And a turnover on down. I didn't touch anything. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. Oh, and yeah. that will force a turnover on downs. Bam, so they that. take a big, a big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach okay. may have some questions Welcome to answer? To the, yeah, and you know, normally we Eagles, focus baby. on the media. Right, the social yeah, media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Because yeah. I think the team's going to look at my coach. Well, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You owe us some explanations. Oh, got to change this play. What you going to do now, boy? Oh, offsides. Before the snap. Who did it? Lance Prado. No jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. That's how tight end just picked up. Sometimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction. And he's eager to go catch a pass. On the counter now, it's Sanders. Come on, get in there, big boy. Keep going. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Oh, actually, I did. Oh, well. It's the penalty. Yeah, but he's a good tight end, though, actually. Oh, what's up with my, uh... Now, second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. He just took a year off from football because of something, I don't know, and then he uh, decided to come back. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was having a concussion. Still nine issues. remaining yes, that might on be a second down. There. And I don't even know what I'm doing, bro. They go play action with Hurts out to his left. Oh! oh. 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 And the Eagles are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And maybe the defense got so caught up in him throwing the football, they forgot he can take off, too. And you often hear about the quarterback being the unaccounted for guy as a runner. Well, even on a passing play, he's unaccounted for as a runner, and he turned it into a nice game. A very nice run, and it turns in to six points. Absolutely. Also find plays in the playbook that'll have an uh on for there, the extra point. Which is better because then you ain't taking somebody off the assignment. And this hits off the right upright, but it finds Dang. its way through. Dead Dead team, bro. Way, but he got it to go. Fight, fight, fight. Huh? Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. What up, boy? All right, let's hit stick, hit stick, come on. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll oh, go down as this Woody drive will start at the 25-yard line. The hit stick to do. He was like this, poking your booty hole, holding on. Like. 
And no damn, bro. The field. Here comes Los Three tight ends. Got to be running. And in. last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points. So they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. Oh, it caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Oh, across the line. Oh, he sheds himself free. Oh. And they're going to have this across oh, midfield yeah, and inside the 45. Yeah, past the line A big play oh, that time through the air. 31 oh, that was, yards. That was definitely the line. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great wasn't. run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, and that's a run born out Golly. of the He took on that initial contact, and in his mind just screamed, out of my Sweet way, night. and kept right on going, and wound up turning. And the next gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Spotted the ball. See, it never lets you challenge the it like that. The thing that they'll be looking at is the spot of the line football. Of and, uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football. That's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. All right, I'm going to replay it. Oh, hey, he won't even let me push start. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from he here starts on out because he'll only have one challenge All right, let's remaining. Just see. This the, offense oh, well, finding its legs now. Damn, look how far first they off in soft-ass coverage. Oh, that's the Eagles' coverage for Back real. Oh, shit. I'm going to try that right. same lame-ass shit again. That'll be caught. It's All right, caught. I'm double-teaming this bitch ass. This one this. Down near the 20 yard line. Matter of fact, I don't even have my guys. Oh, never mind. Just shy of the 20. And this has been a nice Got answer to that. the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, yeah. and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Oh, I didn't On get first it off. and Love ten, it. Stafford dancing to his He's left. wide the fuck open. Look at that. And yeah, there you go. Get that, that out of here. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. That's an that was an early hit, huh? So a costly penalty uh, yardage-wise is that'll move the football uh, down to the spot of the foul. And when the officials are looking right, for these situations, through. whether you're playing the man or the ball, and if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms oh, of man, what's going to get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Matthew Stafford taking it in from a yard out. Right. And the Rams have got this back to a one-score game. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass. Hope some of these guys but it turned uh, into an exceptional run. Or whatever. What a scramble for a touchdown. Yeah, follow on the posts on YouTube too. Oh, my time, my bad. Matt Gay on for the extra point. I follow y'all, you follow me. And that one makes it 14 to seven. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. That's what I said. Y'all follow me, I'll follow you. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Vice versa, whatever. And that'll catch. carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense post, again. And they're hoping to redo their efforts to the last move. drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Oh, because when you score a touchdown, oh, you have to go over and look at the tab and see what you did oh, on the my last turn. drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. I 
Well, hold on now. Um. Oh, oh, never mind. It's all good. I'm trying to figure out what you're doing here, man. at the line this Philly offense set to go and for them it's all right I'm pausing touchdown their last go around obviously they'll be hoping to do that again and when you start plotting for this drive when you start thinking to yourself okay what are we going to do you don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Yeah, you had is, is Vaughn on there still. To throw or? again on second I, mean, I know he ain't on there first. in real life, but looking again for spot right in. Oh, sorry, that's good place. Yeah, sorry, good but not before he takes it across so the got that first down. That's all matters. That was a nice new run oh, slam. Man, I lost my thing. What the trying to do is make lost my followers. I had followers. For a deeper route. I'm not following. I had people in my chat. Or, uh, three to four steps. Yeah. And cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender right. away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Escaping the pressure right. And yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside uh, the 30. He ain't on the team there now. on the scramble. Partner, it's often the man coverage is oh, easier for a quarterback to run against. Man, you get your added. receivers going down one, two, field. Three, four, These five guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have yeah. to get back to the quarterback, which just, opens up a lot of space and room. And they there, don't even know that he's taking off now. with it. What a big time pickup on that play. I'll come back. Or not them, somebody. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Being chased out left. Nothing open downfield, so they that. throw it away. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, this but ball. getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Well, yeah. Here's well, second at least slowing down. Donald's on the left side. Okay, we're gonna go down. Double team Donald. I think I did. Ah oh, heck. Oh well. Let's get the ball off for it. Oh, I still got 28 13 seconds. Why does it not let me pick Donald? Oh well. Play action. Here's Hertz. Rolling to his right. <laughs> and that oh, wide left and catch that. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. I don't know, wasn't looking uh, double team for some reason. I, don't know, I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play. That oh, yeah, the baby. Instead, he thought to himself, that does. Get that first down, down baby. Turn. To bail down the defense. Talk about Sanders. Sanders. Like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone back tried to account for someone, but unfortunately, they okay, didn't count for the running back slipping play. out of the <laughs> backfield. And he was absolutely number one to run the back on the Eagles team. Up getting big yards on that play. by a little bit. On first down, it's Sanders, and he's going to be met. Man, he got squashed. And taken All down. that line came up and was like, oh, "Look at this booty hole." And it'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball he's quickly, like, swarming he's to the like, football, I like making a tackle. Michael. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back uh -oh. a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. Oh, they just go straight for the quarterback. Yeah. That was good recognition on that play. They're holding to no gain. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. <laughs> We've hit the two minute mark of the second quarter. That was a touchdown to right seven. there, too, bro. It would have been, I promise. I get it. I could see it. You were all up on the line, and my. Man. 
Throwing his hurts. What you gonna do? And Sanders has got it complete. Woo! And he's able to pick up the first before he's first. down inside the five at the got four. Got that first, baby. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Say hut. Hurts. Touchdown, baby, right and here. Once again, this Walk is Sanders. Touchdown, Two. Eagles. Like a book. Sanders from four yards out. And the Eagles are that means to their lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. Fake. His receiver won that route early, <laughs> presented himself. I did it no again. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put Whoa. it on him. out there to boom this one away maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss oh yeah let's grab his booty hole take it at the 15 I mean, I didn't say that out loud, did I? and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yeah, get up, line. let's go back to my sideline we'll take care of you baby get a look at this offense led by Cooper Cup as they make Ow, their way back onto the field he's been good so far to this point in the second quarter need to get him even more involved maybe I would agree with that definitely uh, yeah it's not even a question for me the way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. <laughs> Increase got you. more touches, more opportunities. Love little maybe Michael. that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet Play things up and maybe here in the second quarter. And they'll take him okay, down okay, at okay. the 31-yard line. I didn't know a play they'll I get picked. eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I didn't know a play I picked. And that That's was not a bad that. scramble there on first down. He didn't force it. Really? He didn't throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second oh, and short. No. Oh, shit, that could slow. Oh, Room shit, I got you. Run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it All across right. midfield. Got to be back in the game. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks. All right, good. Uh, no appreciation for the Watch guys on the back side that didn't allow any leakage, any, anybody to run him down from the nah, back side. They're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so so front side guys good, yeah. back side oh, guys. Get us, get us, get us. Yeah. Yeah. Head better. Okay, you <laughs> Worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice sizable game. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Awesome. When a draw works, it can Five, be a thing yards, of beauty. Buddy. But when it doesn't, oh, it Let's can be it going. ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. All right, they'll try the air now with Stafford. Stafford. Man, Blackhawks is coming down the <laughs> And he'll just get rid of it. To this point, like I've been that impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, yeah, I think he's another good. incompletion. Got it, bruh. So with two yarder. left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. And they say oh, officially it's a 68-yard attempt. Fast as hell. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That no wasn't more than a foot or so wide to the left. So we've reached the intermission, and Stay we're right now is a 13 and abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. All right. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando oh, yeah, as we welcome that. everyone yeah. back in for quarter number three. So it the was, Eagles uh, with the lead, Abby, and they're yeah. going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Hell Mary Eagles right here, ready bro. to go on offense Hell to begin Mary. this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from Hell them Mary. in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. That's my play showing. 
On second and nine. Hurts. Flush to his Ooh. right. Hey. And this throw and kick him off the team. Now the defender all over him that, that time, but it's going to lead to third down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. The Eagles send out their punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. That was a terrible punt. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and ten. Uh, so good field position for the Rams as they come up first and ten name? on their side of midfield at the 47. Meanwhile, Stafford's yeah, throw put in awesome. by Robinson awesome. here. I was trying to hit something. That's good for a pickup of 10 yards. Uh, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Well, that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out and on the perimeter, on, I, I can play out you, uh, wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Stafford going to give this to Akers. Whoa, Akers fast. has got the first down of this so. <laughs> Touchdown, LA! 44 yards for Cam Akers. And the Rams are able to get back with a touchdown. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They've done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might have wiggled out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Good. Extra point by Gay is up it's and good. Up. And the lead will Apparently. shrink to six. <laughs> Chasing after him, I missed every time. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. All right, Quessy. Quessy. And here comes a return for just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. I got nobody fast Philadelphia's on offense ready to go again. Pretty oh, important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted awesome. the other direction after that last touchdown to as they nurse this small lead. Hurts and the Eagles Zags. come up here first and 10 at their own 26. It's a pretty fast receiver. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Going deep here for Watkins. And that what is the fucker? Jalen Mott took a shot out there on first down, but he couldn't fucker. reel it in. Dude, that was a fucking touchdown right there. We burnt your ass. That was a touchdown, bro. Well, he could have got a shoot line. Yeah. Hurt sets up to throw it. Here we go, here we go. He's going to look deep for Watkins. Hey. He's got a man and complete. Cross Watkins. 74 yards. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. It seemed like they may be giving up momentum. Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they ended up pushing the lead up once again. And you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo. Didn't let him get let to the opposite sideline. Hurts will throw to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Should have been picked. Probably doesn't matter on a two-point conversion, but still, as a former DB, you want to grab that ball when you can, don't you? You certainly do, and, and don't say it. I know you're thinking it. Don't say it. <laughs> what am I thinking? You know what I'm thinking. I know what you're thinking. Well, if he'd had hands, he'd be playing on offense. Oh, well, that's true. You said that before. Take it at the 15, a short kick. Yeah, just go ahead and get it. And he won't quite make it to the 25. That's Mars. The offense for Los Angeles I'm returns thinking. to the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Thanks. Good to see you. On first down at Stafford. 
that ball, baby. Right, that's going to be intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Elliott now to add the extra point. Making the suit too while you push it. And that one makes this a 19 point game. Every time I have the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. Pick six, they'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Oh, shit. Takes it at the seven. Oh, get him, bro. Get him. And he'll Safety. go down at the two yard line. What a disaster there. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Stafford here coming off his pick six. He'll check this down to Akers out of the backfield. And they'll get him down right at around the 11 yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. The shotgun snap for Stafford. And the ball is no fumble. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity missed. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right, a lost opportunity. Steps away. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Throwing again at Stafford. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. But it looked like a Rams player was able to get his hands on it. Yes, so they will hold on to the football indeed. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time. Wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. They'll roll him out right. He'll get what this to Akers out of the backfield. Right oh, he's got some breathing room. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 26. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. On second and ten, Stafford sliding out of the pocket. Touchdown, Rams! Cooper Cup, 26 yards. And the Rams are able to cut into this lead. This has to be great for the psyche of this offense. Presented with bad field position, they didn't let it stop them. They rolled downfield and scored a touchdown.
Gay is on for the point after. And they're able to cut the deficit to 12. So that drive goes eight plays. And the result yeah, for the Rams, a touchdown. Uh, Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Eagles offense back out getting set for this next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. Sanders, let's do a check-in release. Here's Hurts to throw. Going deep here for Watkins. That's caught inside the 20. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play there for Philly. Great show of arm strength right gotta, there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And he made that look effortless, didn't he? I mean, he's had a great game throwing the football. This is going to add to his yardage total in a big way. I know that, but he's like a 70. It's one thing to be accurate on your short and intermediate throws. But when you're hitting the bombs like those, look out. So they say. Now back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. There you go. Find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Eagles get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people oh, get into the zone. This guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving him up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going to the end zone. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. From the 10. And no chance and to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Cam Akers of the Rams offense ready to go back to work. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football and closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really <laughs> had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back. Oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Avante Maddox. Oh, he's like a step down. Now take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot times. to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive? Oh, right? They feel like they got them not too. pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Sides. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. All star. This O line's been great. They've got the big lead, so give them a pass there, I guess. Yeah, I would think so. Because I don't know, but I see them do some performance in this game. A lot of pluses in their boxes so far. That boy, uh, 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 all he does is. <laughs> a full start backs him up five, first and 15. A quick throw here out to Brown. To Not much him. there, only a yard. On second down, it's Sanders. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. The Eagles on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Three quarters in the books. Nah, You're off. watching sports. the NFL on EA Sports. They're going to try the jet sweep on third and long. And he'll be tackled right on the 10, well short of the first down. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. And Hurts not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it. 
That's why I see I don't know. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on down. Set to begin their next drive. The Rams offense at the line. I really thought that was fast interference. And that is incomplete. Well, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Manny Jefferson. Here they come. Second and ten now from the ten. Off the fake to Akers. Here's Stafford. They'll buy some time. And he goes down. That's a sack. They get him. That was your kid. That was your kid. Brandon Graham applying the heat off the edge. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. On oh, Stafford for the third time is intercepted. Picked up by James Brandon. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, That's return cool, for touchdown. Dude. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Elliott Good with a PAT. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will be a touchback as that okay. sails <laughs> over the end line. <laughs> LA's about to get out of this game. Over again on on offense. Business. And you can sort of sense their dejection. Like, that last pick oh, six oh, put the icing on the cake, so to speak, and oh. it's been a rough go for them. What? Damn. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he's able to get this to the 40 yard line glitches. before he's out of bounds. A big connection on that one. Game. 35 yards. At this stage, there's nothing this left to years. do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet well, and use like some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Snapper on they first at? down. Rolling to his left. And his throw is incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. On second down now, it's Henderson. And some space here. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. From the red zone now, Stafford escaping the pressure right. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Allen Robinson. There to make the yeah, grab. Twitch. And the Rams get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. So he scrambled right, but was able to look back toward the middle of the end zone to find the target. As you know, in this game, sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules because we all know most guys throwing the football are taught never throw back into the middle of the field on a scramble. He did it and got away with it for a touchdown. Instinct sometimes, right? They just take over. Instinct and vision. Sometimes you just see people who are open, you're able to get it to them. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. 
Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was say maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, Ron, and maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll look to throw. Right back to Brown. This time he's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. On first and ten, it's Hurts. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play. Unable to connect in that attempt. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Going deep here for Watkins. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Cross Watkins. The second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles had six to their lead. And you wonder now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline. His fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. Well, that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've had no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed a single one of them. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> that pressure is <laughs> love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. Third and long. It's Stafford. He's going to let it fly. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Allen. Van Jefferson, 78 yards. And the Rams are able to draw a bit closer. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. He's at the 40, 20, 10, 5. And it's.
it's a terrific return here as he's going to have him set up with a first and goal right at about the six-yard line. It's funny to me because we actually keep a football in the booth with us during games. And I notice you cradling the football. You get it tucked as pretty we tight speak. with the points of pressure here. And that didn't occur on that play, did it? No, you're saying I wouldn't have fumbled if I was you down there? You would not have fumbled. You got that thing locked in tight. I also have really large biceps. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. They start on the ground here at Sanders. Trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. And when the defense wins and gets up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. Second down, back to Sanders. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And some room to work. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles add on to their lead. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there. But they decided to play this one all the way out, and I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. Elliott on for the extra point. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Get a look at this offense led by Cooper Cup as they make their way back onto the field. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy who was really down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and they're route running savvy. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. First of all, foul. Welcome to the pass down. Maybe a frustration penalty there because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty as a result of that hit there. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty. First and goal. Stafford. 
And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. Well, if you've got him in your fantasy league, you like his production, his second touchdown of the game. But right now, his team is trailing. Fortunately, he's... Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When you'd line up, go ahead, and oh, there's a fake, and oh, he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward is just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the purse. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before <laughs> going out of bounds. They'll run on first down. Sanders. And he's got some space here. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent game. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating? The guys who just gave up that play. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff.